wizard brow. We've got a wizard brow. Hell yeah, haven't you ever looked at wizard's eyebrows? Dude, I don't want a wizard brow. Why not? Because it's... Shit's magical. <laughs> Hola, you amazing artist. So you've got your first solo show coming up. Congratulations. You might ask, how do I possibly pull this off? Rob these tips for artists because he loves you. Putting together a solo show could be extremely daunting if you're approaching it by yourself. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Now that's not saying that it can't be done, that you can't accomplish this thing by yourself, but if it is a large show, th that's, that's gonna be pretty difficult. Herky. I don't know what you just said, little kid. My question is, when the show is going on, who are your supporting cast members to help make the event a success? It is good to have some cast members in your solo show. It all depends on the size, the location, and whether or not you're doing a self pop-up or you're doing something with a gallery. Most of the time, if it's a small thing, you can pretty much take care of that you know, by yourself or maybe with one other person. I'm gonna talk about a large exhibition, like the show that I put together with over a hundred pieces. Now before I get into uh, like what my cast was, who helped me with the show, I want to briefly say something about any art show that you might be putting together. Whether or not it's a gallery showing or you're doing an open studio, open house type thing, or you're doing a yard and art sale, or you're doing a festival, or you're doing a big exhibition. Basically, any opportunity you have to show your art out to the public, if you're doing it by yourself or you're doing it with other people, just remember to have fun. Have fun. I can't tell you how many times I've seen artists freaking out because things aren't going the way that they want them to go or they've got some kind of thing going on in their head. And the thing is that artists are weird. You know, you guys are weird. I'm weird. Klee's weird. Artists are just weird, so sometimes the things that we freak out about are just weird. When I had my solo show at Marty Campbell, I basically started to freak out because I thought that I didn't have enough work for the show. Yeah, and I was looking at your hundreds of paintings like, how are we going to hang up all these paintings on this wall space? Clee was the only one that got to experience my freak out though because I got to take care of it before I went out into public. So I was your secret freak out person? You were. You were my secret freak out person. You should have a secret freak out person. On my list? So so that when you do, if you do freak out. That's good. The let's, person that makes you feel the most awesome. Let's, let's add that to the list. Your secret freak out friend. Your secret freak out friend. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I got my secret freak out friend. So number one, have a freak out friend. Now remember, this list is not something that's set in stone. This is just my opinion. So use it as a guideline to think of, oh, well, these might be some of the things that I need for my show. Number two, food person or people. Now my show was catered by my friend Monica and she created some simple finger foods for the show that were absolutely delicious. Now I say simple, but man, I gotta give a shout out to her because the amount of food that she created for my event and just how delicious it was, was freaking awesome. Now I'll be covering what my opinion on food and drink, that will be in a different video. For this video, I'm just talking about the people that you need. Basically, you're gonna need somebody to prepare food for the event. As the artist, you're going to be busy creating pieces and doing a lot of other things for the event. You should leave the food preparation for either somebody that designated to do it, even get a catering company to come in and do it, especially if it's a really, really large event. Keep in mind that it's not only somebody prepping the food, but setup of the food, and then during the event, maintaining, keeping the area clean, and restocking all the food. Because guess what? Mofos like to eat the food at art shows. Mofos like to eat yeah. food at art shows. Mm -hmm. They do. It's something that I wish I, I would have had at the show was somebody that was just designated to stock the tables. Klee took on that responsibility along with James, so they were constantly tag teaming it back and forth. So I recommend definitely having a designated food person, somebody that just takes care of the food. Now, if you're not worried about food at your event, then you don't need a designated food person, but I suggest that you have something, some kind of food at your art event. Number three, a drink person or people. 
depending on how you feel about alcohol um, at your event or whether or not you could actually have alcohol at your event, I suggest nonetheless that you have some kind of drink options available to people, whether it's soda and water or some kind of tea or lemonade. Definitely have somebody that would be in charge of the drink. Somebody that doesn't get flustered, like somebody that has some kind of bartending experience. Luckily, Monica has a history of drink making in places that are busy because my event, we got bombarded and she was the person that was working behind the bar. Dude, she rocked it because there was constantly a line for drinks. Keep in mind that whoever's working the open bar, chances are that's where they're gonna be for the rest of the night because they're not gonna have a chance to get up from there because they're gonna be really busy. Now, like I said, you might decide not to have alcohol or have a bar, but even if you have drinks, the only way I could think of not having a person that's designated for that is to have drinks in a cooler. Obviously in that situation, you wouldn't be able to have alcohol because you have to keep a close eye on alcohol. But that just looks tacky if you have drinks in a cooler in the corner, like go ahead and help yourself to some water or some, you know, lemon lime tea. Besides, these people are there, they're probably gonna be buying your art, so take care of them. Number four, photo and video person or people. At my event, I had my friend James taking photographs and also taking video testimonials of people that had come to the show. This is something that you want to make sure that you capture, that you capture how awesome your show was so that you can promote the next show that you might be doing. Somebody takes a picture and captures your artwork, you and at least one other person, and that's a good picture of your show. If you don't worry about that kind of stuff and you don't care about anybody recording your show, then don't have somebody taking pictures. Number five, a greeter person or a floater person. Admittedly, I wish I would have had this person at my event. In fact, at my event, I think I would have had a greeter and a floater. So the floater is basically somebody who's gonna walk around and help everybody else at the event with whatever it is that they need to do, getting supplies, they'd be helping with bathroom breaks. Like basically a floater is just an extra hand, all hands on board type thing. Number six, the salesperson. The salesperson is the person that comes out and they close the sale on the floor. What they need is to have some kind of point of sale system, maybe on the iPad, maybe have like the square. And this person is also going to arrange either a pickup or they're going to arrange some kind of delivery and allow the person to pay for postage. They're also gonna walk around with little stickers in their pockets that say sold and every time they close a sale, they're going to put a sold sticker on one of the paintings. I wanted to make sure that all the pieces were there up until the end of the month when my show was done. What we arranged was so that people would leave the artwork up and either schedule a pickup or we would deliver the pieces to them after the show. Some people were not able to wait and under certain circumstances you could probably take the pieces down, but do not take the pieces down during the show they'll at least have to wait till the next day to pick them up. Now in some cases, a gallery is gonna have people on their staff that handle the sales end, but you probably still wanna have somebody on your team. Yeah, yeah, and, helping them. and what I'm talking about is if you do a pop-up or something like that, like you want to take care of that yourself. You wanna think about all these things. Number seven, a music person. So you don't necessarily need a music person at your show, especially if you have something like Pandora playing on some music in the background. You wanna make sure that the music is cohesive with your show as well, whatever it is that you're playing, that should be part of the experience. You also wanna think whether or not you want a DJ, do you wanna just play music? Do you wanna have like a certain musician play at your show? My friends at Dinosaur Days and I have done live performances, so those guys came out and did a live acoustic set at my show which was really freaking awesome because those guys are really freaking awesome number eight you the artist so i bet you're wondering well what exactly do you do while the show is going on get yourself zoned and ready for the show and then once the show begins you will not have a moment to stop think or breathe the one thing that's definitely going to happen at your show is that everyone's going to want to talk to you so yep. that's all you do yeah that's that's all i did at the end of my show i was like was it was it good was it good i i can't remember 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what happened. So when you're like, I'm sweating in places I didn't even know I could sweat, your freak out friend can be like, all right, let's just go fix this. <coughs> you want to be able to be out there and mingle and talk with these amazing people that came to your show to support you. And that's, that's it. That's all I've got. Those are the only people that I could think of. I don't know if there's any other people. By the way, guys, I am being featured as the featured artist for Gallery Night tomorrow, September 22nd. I am the featured artist. What an honor. Thank you so much. So if you want to come out and see me and you're in Pensacola, I'll be there from 4 to 8 o'clock. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, leave us a big old thumbs up. Also, let me know any tips that you might have for doing a solo show that could be helpful things that maybe I missed, just leave them in the comments section below. And thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this video and you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe by clicking over here. And that's it. Have an awesome solo show. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.